Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today, going to be opening up the next box. This is the part two of this 118 card Pokemon PSA uh, blind reveal. This was a value submission, um, a bulk value bulk submission, which was done like a year and a half ago. We did get them back finally, and uh, there's some exciting cards in this order. So let's get on with it. A lot of vintage cards, which we have not not uh, stumbled upon many of those yet in this order. But there are quite a few, and some that um, I have some very high hopes for. Okay. As we drive on, this one looks really good on the back. Maybe a little teensy little white dot there. Ah, Nido King. Back to some uh, Evolutions uh, Reverse Hollows. That looks like a 10. 9. Whew. They are really not wanting to give out PSA 10s on Evo stuff. I've noticed that through uh, some of these orders I've sent in. This one, the, cor whoop. the corners don't have whitening, but they don't seem to like have a real smooth cut uh, looks a little little chunky on the uh, corners and I don't I usually just look for whitening but I am seeing and it looks a little bit thick on top Chansey see if that Nido King did not get a 10 I'm guessing that this Chansey is a 9 yep PSA 9 yeah, it was not as nice as the Nido King, and the Nido King got a nine. Alright. This one, big white spot on that, that corner down there, and up there. Um, pretty big ones. Centering looks pretty good on the back. Ah, Beedrill. <laughs> I bet you not many people have sent this card in. And definitely not many people are ever going to send this card in in the future, because... It's so expensive to grade now. By the way, when I sent these in, it was $10 a card. That's why you're seeing some of these kind of off-the-wall cards. That looks like a uh, 8 with those bad corners. Yeah, PSA 8. That's totally fair. Um, I was just taking my best uh, reverse hollow of the rares and sending them in. I didn't really think I was had like 10 material these two bottom corners have pretty significant white dots on this one and a little bit of whitening there Charmeleon really cool card uh, looks really nice on the front I'm going to guess this is a PSA 9 yep PSA 9 beautiful card This one, I see a little bit of whitening in three of the corners. Charmander. Again, this is Evolution's uh, Reverse Hollow. Um, I'm guessing that's another nine. Oh, got ten. That's the first Evolution's Reverse Hollow ten we've gotten in this or order. Excuse me. And that's a good one to get a ten. Um, this one got a little bit of a white spot there, there. Uh, but that's about it. Everything else looks pretty good. Ooh, chart. These are. This is one of those uh, cracked ice charts. I love the cracked ice hollows. I'm trying to collect the ones from the different years that they've put out. Um, this one came out. This was Vivid Voltage themed deck card. I think that could get a ten. Oh, I see a printing line. I did not realize that these would have printing lines. That is definitely a printing line right there. Let's see if I can show it on camera where you can see it. Like a printing line that goes right there. Hmm. So that's definitely... Can't get a 10 with the printing line like that. So I'm going to guess it got a 9. Yep. That's the best grade that card can get with the printing line. Awesome card. This 
card. Definitely a white spot there, white spot there, thicker on top. <laughs> yeah, lots of problems on this card. Looks like an older card. Ooh, vintage. Dark Vile Plume from Team Rocket. Um, there was a lot of off centering on the back, but the front looks pretty good. It is a little bit thick on top. Hollow looks uh, pretty clean. Oh, I can see a few little slight scratches. So I'm guessing maybe an eight. Ooh, a six. Ooh. Six usually means you have something pretty major like a binder dent. And I do not see that. So that seems like a little bit, definitely harsh grade on that one. We'll put that over by Pikachu. Well, this one has a lot of, uh, I think I know which card this is because I remember this card. It's really nice in the front, but it has this really bad edge wear on the bottom. Everything else is a little bit thick down there too. I believe this is a Jolteon. Yep, Jolteon Hollow. Love this card. I mean, the front is beautiful. The hollow is magnificent, but it has that damage on the back. So I think the best grade it could possibly get is an eight. Oh, I got a seven. Yeah. They're not going to let something like that pass. But I think it's more of an eight damage. But I can see them giving it seven. Can't really argue it. All right, this card definitely has been shuffled in a deck you see a lot of whitening on these corners some white three white spots on top it is a little bit thicker on top yeah, a lot of issues back there ooh Charizard uh, this is base set Charizard try to look at the hollow hollow looks pretty clean um, I think that's this, I think, can get an eight. A six. Man. Man, it just doesn't look like a six. I'm going to have to say that they, that should have got like a, I could see him give it a seven, but man, that is a really nice six. I don't get it. And they, sometimes they kind of overgrade sometimes. All right, man, that's gonna bug me for that to get a six. That little white spot there, um, really clean though on the back. Blaine's Charizard, woo! Got this from Cardinal Gaming. Um, I didn't see much of anything wrong with this. And I actually thought it had a chance at a 10, but it does have just one little tiny little white dot there. I must say, this can get a 10. Come on. This will be my first ever vintage English PSA 10. Ah, 9. Oh, that's still a really good grade. Beautiful card. Oh, that's nice. It is, it is the... Uh, error version which the error version is actually more um, common okay this one you can tell white corners this has been shuffled in decks so usually when that happens we've found or I found on grading cards that the best grade you're going to get is probably a 7 Ooh, this is a sick Typhlosion too uh, from Neo Genesis. Hollow looks pretty clean, but with the shuffling signs, I'm going to guess it's, this is a 7. Yeah, PSA 7, we guessed it. They are not going to let cards that have been shuffled by. <clears throat> okay, this one does not look like it's been shuffled. Looks pretty clean back there. Little teensy little white spot there. Ooh, Misty's Gyarados. I love this card. From Gym Challenge. It's definitely thicker on top. 
so I think I see a scratch there, which that is going to hurt the, the grade. Usually if you have scratches on hollows, the best grade you're going to get is a 7. And since there's not much hollow there, and they see that scratch, they're probably going to nail you. So I'm going to guess, could get a 7. Ooh, it did get an 8. I'll take that. I guess the overall presentation of the card looks good. So if I'm probably too close on these cards. But that's a good 8. This card... I think it might have been shuffled. I see a little bit of whitening. Not as much as that uh, Typhlosion. It looks like it could have been shuffled before. For Alligator, Neogenesis. Man, these uh, old uh, Watsy hollows look really cool. Slabbed up. Um, front looks really good though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess eight. A six? Man, they're, they're just uh, hammering me with some weird grades. Oh, okay, this is a binder dent. If you get a binder dent, you're guaranteed to not get better than a six. I'll show you what I mean by binder dent, if I can get the light just right. See right there, you can see it in the light. A little spot where the binder ring has made an indention on the card that kills it. So that's why you shouldn't keep nice cards and binders or get the nice binders that don't have the three ring binders. Because that'll happen. And I, I missed that binder dent, and it came back and bit me. Okay. Let me look at the, some of these, see if these have binder dents. It don't have binder dents, but it's definitely been shuffled. It's got that whitening in the corners. So already you know this is not going to get better than a 7. Oh, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu from Gym Challenge. Oh, duh. I can just look at the symbol. Um... Oh wow, there is something up there. I think it's creased. There's a tiny little crease right there. That's weird. So, I'm gonna guess it got a, like a six, a five. Well, I think there's a crease there, so that explains a five. These were not as nice as I thought they were. I thought I was sending in some bangers. But uh, I've gotten a little more experience on grading in this year and a half I've been waiting. And I can see that these were not the greatest cards to send in. There's a white chip there on the side. or something inside the case right there. That's unfortunate. And some a little white spot there. It's thinner on that side. Ooh, Venusaur. I love this Venusaur because it's got a really nice hollow. It's got printing lines galore, but no scratches. And the front looks great. There is a little bit of a silvery. Um, I'm going to guess this can get an 8. Ah, I've got the 7. Yeah, I guess if you add up all the little tiny little defects, you might come up with a 7 on that. That just shows you these two cards right here. These show you PSA 7 vintage Pokemon cards still can look really nice. <clears throat> I like to get at least eights, but there's some nice looking sevens out there too, guys. This card, big white tip there. Definitely thicker on the bottom. White tip there. Oh, Sabrina's Gengar, where he's just standing out in the desert, but I don't know if you can see that. There's a uh, there's a nice swirl. You can barely see it what, where this light is right here. But there's the Gengar. Um, I think that's a scratch on the case. But I think it could get an eight. A oh, six. <clears throat> Maybe there's a binder dent I'm missing, but man, that seems a little rough. 
Come on, PSA. <clears throat> Alright, next one. Little tiny white dot there. One there. Um, don't see binder dent. Hit, Rockets hit Monchan. Front looks pretty good. Maybe a little thick on the bottom. I don't see scratches. So this could get like an 8 or 9. 7. Nice swirl right there too. Okay. I think we might have got a tough grader. I wasn't thinking that earlier, but now I'm starting to think we got a tough grader. Okay, this one. Lots of uh, wear in the corners. Definitely been played and shuffled. So, the max on this is going to be like a 7. Lieutenant Serge's fear of my hands are really scratched. I'd say this does not measure up to the other 7, so I'm guessing it probably didn't even get a 7. So, I'm going to say 6. Five, wow. I think five is too harsh, but there's never be any sense of trying to grade it again. Okay, this one, this seems like light colored blue around the edge. Um, a lot of wear there, 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 little white dots. Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Um, I definitely see a lot of scratches on here that I didn't notice the first time I looked at it. Um, I guess like a six. Yeah, another five. I'm guessing, if you can see consistently here, I'm consistently guessing at least one grade too high. Alright, let's go to the next box. I'm in the neighborhood on these guesses. Just a little bit high on my guesses. Okay, we'll get a ways through this box. Um, this one, a little bit of edge wear and some white tips on those corners. Ooh, base set two Charizard. There's a swirl right on top too. Really cool. I mean, you can see that. But the the base set two hollows are great. They're the Cosmo hollows. Um, that definitely looks better than the PSA six one. So I'm gonna. I think this could be a nine. Let me see. Let's look at this back again. Now nah, there's a little bit of whitening there too. So maybe an eight. Eight, yes, <laughs> that's a really nice grade for a uh, base set two charger. I bet you there's hardly any PSA tens. If I remember right, base set two very low pops on tens, so an eight is a really strong grade. Okay, this one big white tip there, very thick on top, all a lot of white tips on this bottom edge, so this one's pretty rough on the back. Eevee, this is a uh, a promo Eevee, nice swirl right there, but you can definitely see how badly centered it is, I'm going to guess like a 7, a 6, here we go again, off one grade, really bright hollow, but there's not much arguing it. I mean, these are cards that are 20 some years old, so it's going to be very tough to get minty grays. There's a white dot there. I don't remember seeing that white dot, like a printing dot. And then there's a uh, definitely white tip there. Cool Porygon. See, now I've gotten um, nicer ones of this since this card that I have not sent in yet, which I'll wait till it's cheap. But the hollow on this was is really nice, but there are issues on the back. So I'm going to guess an 8. Well, I guessed one. PSA 8. 
with a sweet hollow. That's a, a promo card, Black Star promo. Okay, this one seems a little bit thicker on top, but the edges look really good. Meowth. Um, this is one of those Game Boy promo Meowths. Man, that looks really nice. Definitely one of the nicer ones that we've looked at. I think it's got outside shot, shot at a 9. Ooh, got the 9. That's sick. Okay. I'll take that one. This one, been shuffled. You can see the quite a bit of white on that those corners. Which little bit of white tips there too which there's never a problem for me if a vintage card has been shuffled that means that it got played that's what that's what you were supposed to do with these cards was play them in games erica's dragon there man it's got a nice hollow too but centering's not very good it's thin on this side and since it's been shuffled it does have printing lines i'm guessing a seven an eight wow we're actually on the the uh, the good side of the grades here for a couple cards. All right, we'll do a couple more here. This one, a lot of whitening on that edge. Some down there as well. Thicker bottom and this side. A Polyrath Neo Discovery. This one's got a great looking hollow. If I'm guessing it's probably 8 with the back issues. Yep, PSA 8. Hey, we're just starting to uh, zone in on the uh, what the grader was thinking on these. Alright, we're going to go ahead and stop there. And uh, we'll continue with the rest of this box and start another one. Alright, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.